as always, let's correctly define what we're talking about. We said that to achieve straight and level flight, we must have the airplane in a state of equilibrium. Let's make sure we are using the correct definition of equilibrium to avoid unnecessary confusion. Equilibrium means, a state, in which opposing forces or influences are balanced. In its most basic form, from its Latin origin, it means equal. Now that we are sure of what we are discussing, let's look again at the four forces that act upon an airplane in flight. We have lift, acting upwards. Opposing that, is weight, acting earthward. Thrust, is acting forward. Drag, is acting rearward. These forces are designed by our friendly engineers, to work in certain ways together. To really understand this, let's look at another word, which is a couple. A couple, for our interest, is a pair of equal and parallel forces, acting in opposite directions, and tending to cause rotation about an axis. It acts perpendicular, which is to say at 90 degrees, to the plane controlling them. A plane is a straight line, along which a force acts. We have lift and weight, which are equal and parallel forces. They tend to cause rotation around the lateral axis. This is at 90 degrees to the plane containing them, which is the normal axis. You can see from the diagram, that lift and weight are joined, and when either are increased or decreased in strength, it will have a direct effect on the other. It's almost impossible to increase weight in flight, but when lift is increased, it will have the effect of pitching the nose down. This is counteracted through different means, when the airplane is being designed. Imagine the airplane is starting to take off down the runway. The lift is increasing and the nose starts pointing upwards. The faster it goes, the more lift it creates, and the more the nose pitches up. This would create the effect of the nose continuing to pitch up as it gets faster, either on takeoff, or in flight. Remembering back to the production of lift, when the nose is pitched up, the angle of attack is increased. The increase in angle of attack creates more lift. This pitches the nose up again, and you can see we would end up over pitching and stalling the airplane. So an airplane has been designed and engineered to have a couple, that pitches the nose down, when weight or lift are increased. Now, we also have another two forces which affect the pitch couple of the airplane. That, is thrust and drag. You can see from this diagram, that thrust and drag and couple together. When either are increased, this time it increases the pitch up couple. However, this is a much lower force than the lift and weight couple. I mentioned before that there are things done to counteract these couples. And as you can see, this airplane in flight would continue to pitch down due to the much higher pitch down couple. As an important note, you can see that all four of these forces are set up to act around a central point. Going back to these two couples, we still need to find how we are going to compensate for the lower thrust and drag couple. By definition, we need equilibrium to make an airplane fly straight and level. To answer this question, the force we use to balance these forces, is by the tail-down force. This is achieved by the elevator in the horizontal stabilizer. The tail-down force adds to the weight that the wings support. It essentially, is adding weight to the airplane in flight. Another important point, is that the tail-down force is acting around the same axis the other forces are acting through. Because the tail-down force is further away from the center of forces than the other four forces, it has more effect due to the moment of the tail. That is to say, the tail is further away, so it produces a larger twisting force. We mentioned in the effects of controls, that if you increase power, the nose will pitch up and to the left. This couple explains why it pitches up. So if you are flying straight and level, and you add power, the nose will pitch up. Likewise, reducing power will make it pitch down. Another benefit of this setup is that if you suffer an engine failure, the reduction in thrust will pitch the nose down, which will maintain the airspeed. 